could do was pray and ask God not to let anybody die because it was bad and they really have to do something. Rana witnessed this crash just before 9 Wednesday night, a head-on collision at 192nd and Blondo, leaving this car stranded. It was just perfectly on the tracks. Rana says she saw a man in the car drag the woman inside out and off the tracks. It wasn't more than 30 seconds and the train hit the car. I was visibly shaken when it happened. I mean, just to think that it, it could have gone extremely horrible. It's a crash too close for comfort for both women. It's going to happen again until they get that fixed up. Since construction started on 168th Street, more and more drivers travel through this intersection. The city says these street lights should help manage some of that traffic, but Union Pacific has yet to finish their portion of the project. Is get those lights up and running. Others fear they won't be enough. I think they should just not allow traffic over those tracks. Again, the city tells me Union Pacific will start work on these lights next Tuesday and they should be operational by the end of May. Union Pacific tells me it's 70% finished with its portion of the project. Reporting near 192nd in Blondo, Taylor Barth, KETV News Watch 7.